Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled God of Unchanging Love. God of Unchanging Love. I want to read from 1 John 4 and verse 16. It says, And so we know and rely on or believe the love God has for us. You must know and know and know and know God love you. If not, He won't send Jesus Christ to die for you and I. Amen? God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God. And God in them. You say, because God is love, He died for us. And if you're Jesus in your heart, you should have God's love in your heart. And if you live in love and love like God loves you, then He says that God is in you. When we are surprised by a person's behavior, we find ourselves thinking, that is so unkind, that is so unright, or an unlight him. I never seen him act, talk, behave, and attitude like that way. We are surprised because we know the person well. Sometimes people do uncharacteristic things, but humanly speaking, our surprise indicates such actions are the exception, not the rule. We don't expect people to be perfect and never do wrong things. But what I'm saying is that a person who truly has the love of God will be one who will not attack people just because he's offended or hurt or upset with certain things so and so said to them. The same thing is true when it comes to knowing God. Once in John chapter 6, verses 40 to 69, when Jesus said something that shocked his listeners and his disciples, many of the listeners and followers turned away from him. Jesus shared with the people and his disciples about salvation, about eternal life, about himself as a savior of the world. Then he talks about if they want to be saved, they want to follow him, they must eat his flesh and drink his blood. And the people and some of his followers literally left him. Then Jesus turned to his disciples if they were going to abandon him too. He asked them, are you going to abandon me as well? Peter answered and said in John chapter 6 verses 68 to 69, we know you are Christ. So what you said must be right, so we will remain with you. He said, we know you are Christ. So what you said must be right, so we will remain with you. What he's trying to say, say is this, I may not be able to understand what your word meant, what your word said. I may not be able to comprehend the things that you allowed me to go through. I may not be able to understand, uh, com uh, uh, you know, accept what I'm going through as your, you allowing me to go through. But he said, you know what? Because you are God, I will remain and I will believe in you no matter what. Amen. The disciples submitted what they didn't understand about God's word, about Jesus' words, to what they understood about his identity and his character. They may not understand what he said, but they know that God is good. They know that God is love. And God's character that He will not abandon, He will not ask us to do things that are evil, things that are not right. God's identity is a God, He's a God, and He's He's Almighty. His character, He's good. The Bible says God is love in 1 John 4, verse 8 and verse 16. And we and and that He doesn't change in Malachi 3, verse 6. God doesn't change like man change, like weather change, like environment change. This we know, the Bible says. So if we are confused about God's actions or words or what He allowed us to do and go through in life, we must trust Him for who He is. One more time. Though a lot of things in life we may not understand, but we must trust whom He said He is, he is and who He is to you and to me. Amen. Don't lean on your own understanding. Instead, trust in God of love and who never changes. Instead, don't, don't lean on your understanding. Don't, 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 
Don't trust what you see and, and, and confuse and get upset. But learn to trust in the God of love that never changes. He is good. He is kind. He is faithful. He is upright. And He never do evil. Amen? C.S. Lewis said, On the whole, God's love for us is a much safer subject to think about than our love for Him. You know, and that's God. He's amazing. And you must believe that, that God's love towards you never change. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless each of us with a great day and strengthen our life and our faith and believe in you that you love us with all your heart. That's why Jesus came to die for us. On this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.